Hello and welcome to this video titled At the Coffee Shop Fi Al Maqha by www.learningarabicwithangela.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Facebook. Just search for Learning Arabic with Angela. Learning objectives. So we will learn some key vocabulary and short phrases or sentences about the topic of the coffee shop. And we will learn how to ask for tea, coffee and condiments as well as other items available at the coffee shop. Don't forget that the ebook is free to download and available at the blog site. Plus, practice questions and grammar notes included within the ebook. Let's start. Makha, coffee shop. Nadil, Nadila, waiter, waitress. Zabun, Zabuna, male, customer and female customer Zaba'in plural noun customers Ahlan wa sahlan is a common phrase in Arabic that's used to say hello and to welcome guests so you could say simply Ahlan wa sahlan, it could mean hello or welcome or both, or you could say Ahlan wa sahlan bika for a male, Ahlan wa sahlan biki for a female. Uridu kuban min al qahwa law. Samahti. I'd like a cup of coffee, please. Law samahti is used for a female. Law samahta is used for a male. Let's break it down. Uridu means I want. Please note that in English it would be considered rude to say I want and you'd say I'd like, I'd like something. Uridu means Ana Uridu, I want. In Arabic it's perfectly acceptable not to say Anna, and just to say Uridu. So you can skip the pronoun which is Anna or I and just say Uridu. Let's go over some examples for the present tense conjugation of verb to want. Arada. Anna Uridu. I want. Anta Turidu. You want. For the masculine. Anti turidina, you want. For the feminine. Hua yuridu, he wants. For the masculine. Hia turidu, she wants. For the feminine. For the rest of the conjugations, including present and past tense, you can find them in the ebook. You can download it for free by clicking the link in the description of the video. Kub, cup. Kahwa, coffee. Kubun, min al kahwa, cup of coffee. The sentence becomes, Uridu, 
كوبا من القهوة لو سمحتي I'd like a cup of coffee please لو سمحتي is used for a female لو سمحت is used for a male كيف تحب قهوتك؟ This is used to address a male كيف تحبين قهوتك؟ This is used to address a female How do you like your coffee? Let's break it down كيف How It's a question tool تحبو أنت تحبو You like or love أنت is a second person masculine singular So here is the present tense conjugation تحبو أنت تحبو You like or you love تحبينا أنت تحبينا You like or love أنت is used for the second person singular feminine pronoun So here is the present tense conjugation تحبينا means you like or love And when we say أنت تحبو or tuhibbu, it's the present tense conjugation that comes from the verb ahabba, to like, love, or to adore. Let's look at few examples for the present tense conjugation for verb ahabba. Ana uhibbu, I like. Anta تحب you like for the masculine أنت تحبين you like for the feminine هو يحب he likes for the masculine هي تحب she likes for the feminine for the rest of the conjugations including present and the past tense you can find them in the ebook that you can download for free and you can find the link again in the description box of the video Qahwa is coffee so when we say Qahwatuka it means your coffee in the masculine Ka is the attached possessive pronoun referring to your in the masculine Singular Qahwatuki It means your coffee For the feminine Singular Ki is the attached possessive pronoun Referring to your And so the sentence becomes Kaifa tuhibbu qahwataka when we are addressing a male كيف تحبين قهوتك when we are addressing a female how do you like your coffee let's answer the question how do you like your coffee كيف تحب قهوتك بالحليب with milk Halib is milk So when we say with milk It is bil halib Biduni halib Without milk Maal qishda With cream مع سكر with sugar بدون سكر 
without sugar. Sada means without sugar. كيف تحب قهوتك? How do you like your coffee? خالية من الكافيين. أحبها خالية من الكافيين. Decaffeinated. Now for ordering tea, you'd say, أريد كوبا من الشاي. من فضلك for a female من فضلك for a male I'd like a cup of tea please تحضير القهوة coffee making or preparation اعداد القهوة coffee Making. سأقوم بتحضير القهوة. I will make the coffee. Let's break it down. سأقوم بتحضير القهوة. I will make or prepare the coffee. You could also say سوف أقوم. بتحضير القهوة سا and سوف are both particles that are used with a present tense in Arabic to indicate the future for example أنا أشرب القهوة I drink or I'm drinking coffee to change it to the future you would say سأشرب القهوة or سوف أشرب القهوة I will drink coffee You can also say سأقوم بإعداد القهوة I will make the coffee سأقوم means I will do I will do something سأقوم So for example if you say سأقوم بذلك I will do that Let's go over what we've just explained. سأقوم ب or سوف أقوم ب We said سا and سوف indicate the future and we follow up with a present tense verb and then we have particle ب and it's a connective particle. So سوف أقوم ب I will do or be doing Something. سأقوم بإعداد القهوة. I will do or I will be doing the making of the coffee. Literally. Another option is saying سأعد القهوة or سوف أعد القهوة. I will make or prepare the coffee. أريد قطعة من الحلوى أيضا من فضلك. I'd like a piece of cake or dessert, please. من فضلك for a female. من فضلك for a male. Let's break it down. Again, أريد means I want. Or in English, we say I'd like when we're asking for something. قطعة means piece. Halwa in Arabic is used to refer to all kinds of food that contain sugar or honey, such as candy, sweets, dessert. Or even cake. And for cake in Arabic, we can also say cake, as simple as that, or kaka.
قطعة من الحلوى piece of cake or dessert أيضا means also So the sentence becomes أريد قطعة من الحلوى أيضا من فضلك I'd like a piece of cake or dessert please وأريد شطيرة الجبن من فضلك And I'd like the cheese sandwich please Let's break it down شطيرة Sandwich جبن أو جبنة Cheese شطيرة الجبن Cheese sandwich And so the sentence becomes أريد شطيرة الجبن من فضلك I'd like the cheese sandwich please هل تفضلها محمصة؟ Do you prefer it toasted? Let's break it down هل Do It's a question tool تفضل means you prefer in the present tense you for the second person singular masculine أنت تفضل you prefer for a female we would have said تفضلين أنت تفضلين أنت is the second person singular feminine pronoun تفضلين أنت تفضلين أنت تفضل تفضلها تفضل in the present tense plus ها an attached pronoun referring to it you prefer it تفضلها if we were speaking to a female we would have said تفضلين ها تفضلين plus ها so تفضلين ها محمصة toasted so the sentence becomes هل تفضلها محمصة or هل تفضلها محمصة do you prefer it toasted نعم yes لا no وأريد قرنينة ماء من فضلك and I'd like a water bottle please تفضل is used when addressing a male تفضلي is used when addressing a female and it literally means here you go or here you are when you're handing out something تفضل is also a polite or courteous word in general in Arabic so if you're opening the door for example for someone you're gonna say تفضل or تفضلي hence you mean come in شكرا لك لك is used for a female لك is used for a male and it means thank you you can simply say شكرا thank you hold on we're not finished here القهوة باردة the coffee is cold so our customer is complaining باردة which means cold is the opposite of ساخنة which means hot 
and they're the feminine adjectives. Sakhin, hot, is the masculine adjective. And barid, which means cold, is the masculine adjective. You can also replace sakhina and sakhin with harra and har for the masculine. So, barida is the opposite of harra and barid is the opposite of har. Some examples here. Al-qahwatu sakhina. The coffee is hot. The opposite would be Al-qahwatu barida. The coffee is cold. Ashayu sakhin. The tea is hot. Ashayu barid. The tea is cold. So the adjective follows the noun according to the gender. So Al-qahwa is a feminine noun. So we have to use a feminine adjective. So we use sakhina, not sakhin. So we say al-qahwatu sakhina. Ashai, ashai is a masculine noun. So we're gonna say ashayu sakhin. Sakhin is an adjective, so it will follow the noun which is masculine. So it will be masculine as well. Let's review. Makha, coffee shop. Nadil, waiter. Nadila, waitress. Zabun, male customer. Zabuna, female customer. Zabain, customers. Ahlan, wasahlan, welcome. أريد كوبا من القهوة لو سمحت for a female لو سمحت for a male I'd like a cup of coffee please كيف تحب قهوتك for a male كيف تحبين قهوتك for a female How do you like your coffee كيف تحب قهوتك بالحليب with milk بدون حليب Without milk, مع القشدة with cream, مع السكر with sugar, بدون السكر without sugar, سادة without sugar, خالية من الكافيين decaffeinated. أريد كوبا من الشاي من فضلك for a female, من فضلك for a male. I'd like a cup of tea, please. أريد قطعة من الحلوى أيضا من فضلك. I'd like a piece of cake or dessert, please. من فضلك for a female. من فضلك for a male. سأقوم بتحضير القهوة. I will make the coffee. You can also say سأقوم بإعداد القهوة or سأعد القهوة. أريد قطعة من الحلوى أيضا من فضلك. I'd like a piece of cake or dessert, please. من فضلك for a female. من فضلك for a male. وأريد شطيرة الجبن من فضلك. And I'd like the cheese sandwich, please. هل تفضلها محمصة? Do you prefer it toasted? نعم, yes. لا, no. وأريد قنينة ماء من فضلك. And I'd like a water bottle, please. Tafaddal for a male. Tafaddali for a female. 
here you are, here you go. Shukran laki for a female. Shukran laka for a male. Thank you. Al-qahwatu sakhina. The coffee is hot. Al-qahwatu barida. The coffee is cold. Al-shayu sakhin. The tea is hot. Al-shayu barid. The tea is cold. Thank you for watching. Shukran ala al-mutaba'a. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.